Section 7.4a is about elimination, but now we're going to use multiplication. If you look at these uh, two equations, this system, none of the coefficients are such that you can add or subtract. If you add 3 and 5, you get 8. If you add 4 and 2, you get 6. So you're not going to be able to eliminate anything. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these equations. Sometimes you, you do both, but for this one, I'm going to take one of these equations, the second one, and I'm going to multiply it by the number 2. And I want you to see what happens. The top will still be 3x plus 4y equals 6. But look what happens to the bottom. Distribute the 2 and you get 10x plus 2 times 2 is 4y, and that equals negative 8. So what I've done is I've changed the coefficient of the y to match the one up above. And when you have coefficients that are the same, you can subtract them. So now I'm able to subtract and solve it just like I've done in the past. 3 minus 10 is negative 7x. 4 minus 4 is 0. And 6 minus negative 8. Add the opposite. So 6 plus 8 is 14. Divide both sides by negative 7. So I get x equals negative 2. Now I've got to figure out what the y is. I'll plug x into, let's go with the first one. So 3 times negative 2 plus 4y equals 6. That's a negative 6, so I'll add 6. And I'll have 4y equals 12 divided by 4. And so y equals 3. Ordered pair then is in alphabetical order. Negative 2, 3 is my solution. So this idea of using multiplication is where you take and multiply either of the equations or both. You try to make a, a coefficient that's the same, or you could also make a coefficient that's opposite. Uh, in that case, you would then add them together. Here's an example of solving uh, using elimination and multiplication. Notice the coefficients here are not the same. And I just want to walk you through a couple of the different possibilities. If I wanted to, don't write this down just yet, I could multiply the top by a 2 and the bottom by 3, and that would give me 6s for the x's. Another possibility could eliminate the y's. I could multiply the top by 3 and the bottom by 4. That would give me a 12 and a negative 12. So I could do it. There's a couple different things I can do. The one that I am going to do is I'm going to do the top by negative 2 and the bottom by 3. I only do that because I want to use addition. And I want to show you what happens when the coefficients are opposite. So top's going to be negative 6x minus 8y equals 50. And positive 6x minus 9y equals 18. Unlike the last problem, you'll see that the coefficients here are opposites. And when they're opposites, you add. So negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Negative 9 plus negative 8, or negative 8 plus negative 9 is negative 17. And 50 plus 18 is 68. Whoops, I'm thinking ahead. Divide both sides by uh, negative 17, and y is going to equal a negative 4. I need to plug that into one of these. I'll plug it into the second one. So 2x minus 3 times negative 4 equals 6. Well, this is going to be a positive 12, so I will subtract that to give a 0. 2x equals negative 6. Divide both sides by 2, and you get x equals negative 3. Alphabetical order, not the order in which you solve it, the answer is negative 3, negative 4. Understand when you use elimination, there are multiple things you could multiply by, but you want to make the coefficients either the same, so you can subtract, or opposite, so you can add. Here I'm going to use elimination, and I can't eliminate anything right now, so I have to multiply one of these by something. To me, the easiest would be the top by 3. That will create a 3x and a 3x, and I'll go from there. So my new equations are 3x plus 15y equals 12. And this one I didn't change at all because the 3x's already match. Now the coefficients are the same, so I will subtract those. 3x minus 3x is nothing. 15 minus negative 7. Add the additive inverse. That's really 15 plus 7. Um, that's going to be 23y. And then 12 minus negative 10, that's really a plus 10. 22. Actually, this should be a 22 also. Yep, I added those wrong. Okay, continuing, divide by 22. And you should get y equals 1. 
Take that and plug it back. I like the first one, the original equation. So x plus 5 times 1 equals 4. And that's really a 5, so I will subtract it to create a 0. And it looks like x equals negative 1. Remember alphabetical order, not the order in which you find them. And there's your solution.